Do you think really God will promise you this? No, uh, okay. It, it regards the just now the verse seventy-one. Yeah, what about it? Yeah, and, and that, uh, Ibn Kathir said regarding the there is none one of you that but will pass over it. The messenger of Allah said, "Then we shall save those who had taqwa." Allah said, and then the two Sahih. No one of the Muslims who had three children who are all died will be touched by the hellfire, except for an oath that must be fulfilled. It's, okay. So, okay. You are reading. You said you are reading Ibn Kathir, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let me go to Ibn Kathir um, and see what Ibn Kathir is saying. You see, just to show you that Ibn Kathir, when Muslims they say Ibn Kathir, well, there is somebody lying here. I'm not saying you are lying. Which website you are using? This website? The one in front of me in the screen? No, no, not this one. Uh, which one? The Q Tafsir. Okay. But Ibn Kathir should be the same, right? I mean, it's, uh, they are, yeah. uh, this is in the translation. Okay. But this is... Of course, what you say it is not really true. All right, this is Ibn Kathir. If this is what it says there, that means they are lying to you because I will show you Ibn Kathir in Arabic. It says here, uh, Ibn Jarir reported that uh, Abdullah, he said, Concerning Allah's statement, but this is not your prophet. This is a imagery. We'll continue. Okay. The bridge over the hill, over hill, is like a sharp edge of a sword. First group to cross, it will pass like flesh of light. Second, second group will be like wind. Third the group will pass like fast horse. Fourth the group will pass like fast as cow. Then the rest will pass while the angels will be saying, Oh Allah, save them. Save them. The narration has support in narration similar from the Prophet. It says the following. It's not repeating, it's saying the same. But look. Uh, here it says, Passing over the bridge. Just to show you how they lie in the translation. Do you see anything here it says about Imam Ahmad? Doesn't say anything, right? Nothing. This is Ibn Kathir in Arabic. Qala al Ahmad, haddathana Sulaiman ibn Harb, haddathana Khayyad ibn Sulaiman, an Kathir ibn Ziyad al-Barsani, an, 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 okay. Ba'dana qal la yadkhuluha mu'min. Wa qala ba'dhum yadkhulunaha jami'an. So they, some they say, nobody will enter it, and some they say, all they will enter it. And then Allah will rescue those who they became, they, they were good, uh, 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 you know, in their behavior, they say. Uh, and here it says, and we disagree about the word al-wurud. فقال, يردونها جميعا. قال, which means all of them, they will, will enter it. قال سليمان, مرة يدخلونها جميعا. <laughs> he says, all of them, they will enter it, and he put his finger inside his ear. Hmm? And then he said, and you are the one who mentioned hadith, and just to show you how they lie in the translation, it says, uh, 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 he said, he heard the prophet saying, not a good man or a bad one, but he enter it. But it's going to be good for those who they are believers, like what happened to Abraham when he go in hellfire. So there is, they do not agree, you know. And then here it says, uh, from Al Hassan, etc. It says, Abdul Razak, uh, when this guy, his name is Ibn Rawaha, wadi an rasahu fi hijr umrmatahu fabaka. So this person, uh, uh, he was putting his head in the in the lap of his wife. And he started crying. He, she said to him, "Why you are crying?" He said to him, "He said to her, because the Quran says, I heard the Prophet saying, uh, 'Wa in minkum illa Not a single one 
but he will enter it. Not a single one, but enter it. So as you see, look, the English translation have nothing to do with the Arabic translation. Let me let me translate for you. I will use. I will keep the other page in English. I will use the Arabic one, and I will use Google translation. Actually, let me do this. Hold on. Uh, they lie. They love to lie. They love to lie. Huh. But look, all the translation. It okay, says, my friend. Here we go. No, no. Just, just wait. It's a false translation. It's a lie translation. Here we go. This is Ibn Kathir in Arabic. Hmm? This is Ibn Kathir, Tafsir al Quran al Azim. And I will use Google Translation for you. Tell me where we can find any of those in the English translation. We can't find it. Let me go down. Hmm? Where we can find this? Where we can find it? It's not in Arabic. It's gone. You will enter hell. All of you will enter hell. And this is the story here about the the man. He was a crying. He will enter hell. God said to the uh, the Pharaoh, you know, people will you know enter hell. Okay? But you will see all of this is not even in English. One, where where is the English translation we see in the front of us? Look how small the page in English. Let me look for the English page. And look how endless this Arabic page. Look, I'm just flipping the same, the same page. I'm just, just one verse. Now, finally, we reach the end of the page. So, so here, here, look what they, what they did. They skip all the verses all the interpretations saying that you will go inside the hell and he put the one that says there's a bridge and some of you will go fast which means you will be barbecued anyway so if you are a very 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 good muslim you will go so fast if you are so so muslim you will go slower if you are not so much you will go in the speed of a cow so you will be barbecued and if you are a bad then you will go in the fire if you are if you are a muslim still you know they will go in the fire and then the angel will say to Allah, please save them, Allah, please save Allah. <laughs> but the Arabic is so clear, you know, it says clearly, not a single one of you, but he shall enter hell. Not a single one. And there is nowhere it says bridge. Where is the bridge? Where is the word bridge in the verse? No bridge. In the explanation in the hadith. Yeah, but in the Quran it says, Wama aminkum illa not even a single one of you, but he shall enter hell. And as you see, the Arabic one does not does not match with the English one. The Arabic one is totally different. And the Arabic one confirmed that many they will go to hell. Actually, all of you will go to hell. But some will get hurt badly, some will hurt less. As simple as that. You know, and at the end of the day, this is the promise of your prophet, right? About you going to hell. But I can promise you you will go to hell because simply you don't believe in Jesus. I do not no, think we, Muhammad to confirm that. In Jesus. No, you don't. Do no, you don't. You don't even have the name of Christ in your in your book. Where is the name of Christ? Isa. Who, who's Isa? Jesus. No, we never. We we are Arab Christians. We never heard of Isa before. Never. Not a single once. Even in the Christian Bible, there's no. Not even in the Christian Bible, there's nothing it's called Isa. Who, who, who's Isa? We have no idea. Where he got his name, we don't know. We don't have Isa. We still believe in uh, Jesus. Our friend, our friend. You see, if your God is God, he should do what God do. How many times you watch my videos? Many. Okay. Did your God, Allah, say his women have a sperm? A woman has a sperm. Yeah. And you are the one who like the Ibn Kathir in English, right? Yes. Okay. Open with the Ibn Kathir. Go to chapter 86. 
Authority. Hmm. Go down, it says. So let man see what he is created from. Do you see it? Uh, what verse? You can open from your side if you want. Anyway, here it says that a human being is created from gushing fluid, meaning sexual fluid comes from, uh, out bursting forth from the man and the woman. Thus the child produced from both of them by the permission of Allah. Due to Allah, it says, proceeding from between the backbone and the ribs, meaning the backbone of the man and the ribs of the woman. This is the God you want to take you to heaven? Oh, sorry. Verse 6 and 7. Yeah. Hmm? I think there's an explanation on this, and then it mentions that the science is correct. What science is correct? The women she have a sperm coming from her ribs? Science says women have a sperm. This is what science says. Women have a sperm. Since when? I thought the women she have an egg. So the verse six is he, right? Huh? It doesn't mention the woman is mention he. It says, aren't you the one who says to me, Ibn Kathir? Yes. Okay, this is Ibn Kathir. Do you accept Ibn Kathir or not now? Yes. Okay, it says, gushing forth, meaning, gushing forth from the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women. It's a sexual fluid. That sexual fluid coming from the ribs of the women is the woman's semen, which is referring to her chest. So, if there is anything in science says, that women, they have a sexual fluid coming from her chest. And not only her chest, by the way, this is a false translation. The word taraib is the location of the top bone of the, uh, the ribs, not just the ribs, all of it. The last top bone next to your neck. So you, all, you want to pray to me to go to heaven? Your God, if you will go, your God need to go to school. What go to heaven? What kind of no, God do you think women, she have a breast testicles? A Muslim, he said, his name is Anwar. I can send you a Bible, says the word Isa. This is Muslim translation. We don't have Isa. This is a false translation. Uh, I will give you the better news. Uh, the, the, the Arabic translation for the Bible used the word Allah. That's a false translation. We don't have the word Allah in the book in the Aramaic, neither in the Greek, neither in the Hebrew. <laughs> false translation. The same as your Quran saying the word Jesus in the Quran in English. There's no Jesus. False translation. Are you happy now? So, are you with me, my friend? So, how this is God, he claimed that women, she have a sexual fluid, and that make the baby coming from her ribs, and this is her semen. And a man, he have a sexual fluid coming from his backbone. Do you have a backbone yourself? Yes. Okay, well, you're, according to the Muhammad, your semen is coming from your backbone, not from your testicles. So if I am you, I will dump them somewhere. I mean, you will, there's no need for them. What testicles for? Well, They're annoying. The, you can't even play football, the, you know? Is the area of the... The backbone, the lower pelvis, I think. What uh, it says, the backbone, what area? The backbone, a solp. Solp is the bone itself. Not only a bone, it is the last bone in your ass, in your spine. Not from that area. It says a solp. A solp is like, I mean, you can't take it literally. You have to 
What literally? This is what literally? Aren't you the one who no, says to me? Listen, listen, listen. You see how hypocrite the Muslims are? When you want, you say to me, let's go to Ibn Kathir. Now you don't want Ibn Kathir. Ibn Kathir he says, the backbone of the man. Did he say not literally? No, he said the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women. And then he says the women liquid is a yellow and fine in texture and he's quoting your prophet. Yeah, you have to look at the meaning. The meaning is the, the man. Uh, my friend, my friend, listen, listen, I don't have time for stupidity. Why aren't you the one who says to me, let's go to Ibn Kathir? Yes. Sir. Okay, Ibn Kathir will do what? Will give us the meaning. So now we are reading the meaning from Ibn Kathir. So do you accept him or not? You keep saying to me, how to go. so why we are going to Ibn Kathir then? You don't speak Arabic. I speak Arabic. I'm not going to take that against you. I'm using Ibn Kathir, the book you like, and this is the website you like, and this is the translation you are using. Ibn Kathir says, yes, this is true. There is a semen coming from the backbone, and there is a semen coming from the ribs of the women. So what we would do now, you still keep saying to me, you don't take it literally. So why we go to Ibn Kathir then? Why Ibn Kathir, he take it literally? Do you think he is stupid? No. Okay. So what we will do? We, we should we change different uh, interpretation for you? Maybe that will make you happy. I they haven't read the explanation, but read carefully with I me. Remember, read carefully uh, with me. This is Tafsir Ibn Abbas that is issued from the from the. This is a false translation, it says loin, it says the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women. This is Tafsir Ibn Abbas. So now all the Muslim scholars do not speak good Arabic, and you are the guy who God knows from where, you are the one who tell me you should not take it literally. So why they take it literally? The, the meaning is um, the area where it says the area where okay and let us go with the area women first of all don't have sperm they don't secondly it doesn't say area it says coming from the backbone can you show me the word area i will show you another stupid thing just to show you how you must have you play games the Quran say the sun set in murky water. What your sheikh will say to you? So oh, the murky water, right? Huh? Uh, regarding, yeah, it's at the end of the land. So you, it's not. My it friend, shows... what your answer? Shaitan or Allah saying that the sun set in murky water. What Allah he meant by saying, the guy, he arrived where the sun set and he found it sitting in a muddy spring of water. How you will say, what, what you will say to me now? You will say so to me, focus in the area? The explanation is huh? Zulkur Yeah. Yeah. He, he saw that in, in his view, okay. that the sun, um, the sun goes over the water. Okay. Means Can you show me what it says like, that Zulkur he saw from his view? Where it says that? So there is the explanation. We, it's not okay, really... so now the explanation is a stupid explanation because simply it's against what your prophet said. Your prophet, he said, the sun set in the murky water. Hmm. Your prophet said, which one is higher? Your prophet or, or, or the explanation? Is that your prophet talking? I was sitting behind the message of Allah who was riding a donkey while the sun was setting, he asked, Do you know where this set? I replied, Allah and his apostle know best. He said, It set in a spring of warm water, boily water. So, what explanation? Who explained the Quran better? You, you Kathir, potato, tomato, or Muhammad? No, even Muhammad uh, didn't know that because he's just following. Oh, just so, Muhammad was a stupid. So, Muhammad, he claimed now. That the sun set in murky water, you don't understand what Allah is saying to him, but you understand better, right? No, he he's Muhammad just um, we're just following what Allah said. Okay, so that's me. Ah, uh, look what happened. He is following what Allah said. 
So what Allah said is what he is saying here. He did not say from the perspective of Zulqarnayn, this is a Muslim lies trying to cover up the stupidity of the Quran. Thank you very much. Take care, my friend. Next time, let your dad call me. And don't pray for me, pray for yourself. I'll go into hell. And pray for me. What a joke. Even your prophet, he asked you to pray for him because he's not sure he will go to heaven. If he is going to go to heaven, he do not need your prayer to go. Pray for me. Somebody saying, why do you believe the Bible is a reliable source of information? Very simple reason. There's no book in the world is documented as much as the Bible. It's written in many, 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 many languages from the beginning of the time. Spread around the world in many languages. And people are disconnected. So there's no way a person who lives in India, he can agree with somebody who lives in Europe about a book, and both of them they never met, unless this book is accurate. And this is the same. You will find that people who accepted Christianity in India from the beginning of Christianity, or Ethiopia, or uh, 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 Egypt, or Syria, or uh, all over. At the same time, the book match the ethic of Jesus. Love your enemy, bless them. And the Christian, they were very careful about what to accept, what not to accept. Like, you know, some, uh, uh, Anwar saying, not a good argument. Well, Anwar, you know, I don't know what argument is good for you. You are a person who believe in endless penis and you are talking about argument. How we can argue about penises now? I mean, look who is talking, a person who believe that a monkey, she committed adultery and she was stoning other monkeys. Talking about the good argument. During the pre-Islamic period of ignorance, I saw a she monkey surrounded by a number of monkeys. They were all stoning it because she it had committed adultery. And you are talking about argument? So now the Muslim, they believe that monkeys are Muslim Sunni and they are practicing Sharia law. Actually, if you read the story behind it, you will die laughing. According to Muhammad, this monkey, she male monkey, she, uh, female monkey, she was sleeping over the hand of her husband, Mr. Shapanzi. And then another, uh, another, another uh, monkey, he came from behind the tree and he blinked for her. She came behind the tree and did them boom, boom. Then she came back and her husband is still asleep. She tried to insert her hand under his head again, but then he woke up and he started sniffing her. And then he found out that she wasn't doing adultery. And he starts saying, takbir, takbir. And then the Muslim monkeys, they come and they stone her. And you are talking about good argument? What dagging the question? I'm not dagging the question. And let me answer you about the Bible. If my Bible is not a good trustworthy, so how you stupid Muhammad? He take an oath of it. And he says, I believe in it. Is that a good argument? No, it's not a good argument. Is it, this is your stupid book says, agreeing with the book we have between our hands? Verifying which they have? If you don't like this translation, we can change it. This is Shakir. Yeah, let's go to Yusuf Ali. <laughs> Not a good argument. And when they come to them, a book from Allah confirming what is with them. Not a good argument. <laughs> So not only our book, not only the Christian around the world agree about the book, even the filthy prophet, the child molester, he have to admit that this is a true book of God. Satan, he cannot deny it. Uh, answer, I'm showing you the Quran saying that Allah, he says, actually, you see here, the verse says confirming it's a lie. In Arabic, it doesn't say confirming, it says musaddiqun, which means believing in what is with them. And what is with us? Jesus is God. Hallelujah. This is why I told your friend here, when you go to hell, 
Don't forget to, tele to deliver my message to Muhammad. You got busted. And this is all over the Quran. Some verses saying what is between their hands, and some verses saying confirming what is with them. Either one, it doesn't make any difference. <laughs> hey, Anwar, why you don't call me and show me how smart you are? Do you like to call me? Let us see how good you are. Palestine, get out of here. Either you call me, I don't want to see you here. You know, Jacob and Israel refer to a man. You know what? Just to show you how stupid this religion is. I challenge any Muslim to tell me who is Israel. I have a book in front of me. It's called the Quran. I'm reading this book. How in the world I will know who is this guy? His name is Israel. Any Muslim can tell me? It says, O children of Israel. So it's confirmed it's a man. They are his children. Who is this guy, Israel? Potatoes. Religion of potatoes. Religion of the thief. Have you ever heard of a God? He introduced to us a guy. His name is Israel. He don't tell us who is this guy, where he's born, who is his family. Who, who is this Israel? Suddenly, O oh, children of Israel. And the funny is that the dad was making fun of Israel, struggling with God. But you stupid, the second you accept the name, you accept the story. <laughs> Oh boy. Israel? Do you know Muslim? Because Muhammad do not know what Israel means. So he put Israel in the, in the book. What Moses mean? He do not know what Israel He put it in the book. Abraham, he put Abraham. What Ishmael mean? He do not know what Ishmael He put it in the book. And you will notice that the most important name for Muhammad is Gabriel. Do you know that not a single Muslim knows what Gabriel means? <laughs> a thief. A thief who claimed that he is a professor in mathematics, but he do not know 2x2 is what? A thief who claimed to be a professor in biology, but he claimed that the, the sperm became a blood, dead blood. A thief who claimed to, to, to be expert, a professor in geography, and then in geology, he claimed that the sun set in a muddy water, a spring of water, not ocean. He's expert in everything. As an example, Muhammad is the only one who was able to find out why you are a male and why she is a female. Why, Prophet, why? Listen, if your wife have orgasm before you, the baby will be a female. What the heck? If the guy, he have orgasm before the female, the boy will be a male. So now you can go to your dad and you can tell him what happened in the bedroom the day you have you. If you are a female, you say to your mom, Mom, I know you came first at that night. <laughs> your mom, she might kick you out of the room or maybe from the house if you say that. Don't do that. So, Dr. Muhammad, this is Dr. Muhammad. Who told them? Allah told him. The Messenger of Allah said the man water is thick and white and the women water is thin and yellow. Which of them comes first? The child resembles the parents. Like what the heck? This is why I promised myself if I ever have a wife, I will never come first, my friend. I don't want my son to look like me. That's scary. I will marry a beautiful woman and I will let her all the time come, come first. All the time. That doesn't matter. I will never even, you know, that's it. Prophet of Allah, Dr. Muhammad. Get out of here. You know, the funny is that your God himself is a Zionist. Look what he called himself, Zionist. Let us show you the Zionist. Isn't it your God, Allah? He ordered the Jews, and he told them that you are my favorite people. 
my chosen people, the Yunus, huh? Who is the Yunus? Here we go. This is the fruit of the Jews. Muhammad lived between them and he was kissing their asses. Read with me. Who is the Zionist now? O oh, children of Israel, remember my favor upon you, which I bestowed upon you, and favor you upon all mankind and genie, even genies. Allah, he favored Bani Israel from the genie too. Why they are genies? How he favored them from the genie too? Who is the Zionist? This is your Quran. They are the favorite. A genie, Allah, you know, a Zionist Allah. And then Allah, he ordered them to kill all the Palestinian. And the funny, the guy, he keep coming here. He's from Pakistan. He called himself Palestine. Look, Allah, he ordered. And not only that, because they refused to kill the Palestinian, Allah, he punished them and he made them lose their way for 40 years in the desert. Chapter 5, verse number 21. Do you see between brackets it says Palestine? Who is the one who ordered to take Palestine? Allah the Zionist. Shish kebab. Any Abdul? And then they said to Musa, oh Musa, you know what? Those people there, they are strong. We won't go with you. You go and fight them. Only two men, only two men of the old Jewish, they agree to fight with Musa. One of them is, and look here, they add names. It's not in the Quran. Those aren't in the Quran, by the way. Muslims do not know what, what Joshua and Caleb, you know, those names aren't exist in the Quran. This is fabrication. They said to him, let us go and assault them. Imagine three men, they want to go and assault a nation. I mean, how stupid is the story here? This really what story happened? Only two men? Only two men. Or maybe two men and they are leaders of our army. Just two men, they will go? That so mean, Moses and two men only, they will agree? This is not what the story says in the Bible. Only two men. They will go and fight. So they say to you, why are you, why are you attacking the Palestinian? First, those Arab there are not Palestinian. There's no more Palestinian exist. Secondly, as you see, Allah ordered the Jews to take the land. This is the land assigned to you. This is a land assigned to the Jews. Who is assigned it? Allah himself. The Zionist Allah. Do we have any Mohammedan? Ex terrorist, nobody dare to call me. Look how long we are here, and not even one single one of them. The only one who called me is an idiot. He did not know what he's talking about. You want to pray for me? What a joke. If you're a prophet himself, he is guaranteeing to go to heaven. Why he is asking the Muslim to pray for him? And the funny is, always the word salah in Arabic means prayer. The Muslim, they say, oh no, this is mean a blessing, blessing. You say this is a stupid thing to say, because blessing does not add anything to you if you are in heaven anyway. You know, bless me when I'm, and, and I am in heaven. If Muhammad guaranteed he was going to go to heaven, why he need your blessing? If Allah, what is more blessing than being in heaven? What does that mean? Stupid, amazing, you know, yuck, diarrhea. If Muhammad is the favorite of Allah, and he is going to be in heaven, why he need your prayer? Why you call people coward, you don't show my face? What my face have to be debating you? If my face will help in debating you, I will show my face. But my face is not what people want. I'm not doing fashion show. And what about you ask the God you worship and you bow down and you show your ass when you pray to him five times a day to show his face? I'm not your God. Isn't it your God, he says in the Quran, it's not for Allah to speak to anyone except from behind the veil? Your God, Allah, is a burqa man. This is the Quran, let me show you. Why don't show us your face if you are brief? What do you want to do my face?
This is your God, chapter 43, verse number 52. It says, Allah never speak to anyone except from behind a veil, a female God. Anwar, is your God Allah wearing a black veil? Ask your God to show himself. You never saw him. You never heard even his fault. How do you know he exists? For the Christian, their God came to them. Their God came to Abraham. Where is your God? Do we have any Abdul want to call us? Who is here first time? If you are here first time, I feel sorry for you. You will get addicted. And <laughs> I advise you to hang up and leave. <laughs> you will come because here it's a it's like you know. People, they learn, yes, uh, and the answer has come in the speed of light, yes, but the spank is so hard, brother, and the Muslim look really bad. Let us see this guy. Is he a Muslim? I don't know what he is. Let us see what's the guy. Hello? Yes, are you a Muslim? Wa alaikum as -salam. How are you? I'm fine. Are you a Muslim, my friend? Yes. All right. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, I saw your your question saying uh, why I accept the Bible to be confirmed, why right? Consider it, why yeah. you consider it as a reliable source, yeah. Yeah, but did you see the answer in the Quran? The Quran says, as long as you speak Arabic, I notice you speak Arabic, right? Yeah, but what does the Quran have to do with your Bible? Pretend I was an atheist. You are an atheist? You are an atheist? Pretend, pretend I'm an atheist. You, you, can, you can pretend. Muslims they pretend always anything, you know? But this is why, why I want to why I want to assume that you're an atheist when you are saying you're a Muslim. So for me, I have a clear proof from your book. Because you wouldn't tell you wouldn't tell the atheist because the Quran says. No so. problem. If you an atheist, atheist if an Quran atheist he call me, I will answer an atheist. If a Muslim he answer, uh, I call me, I will answer a Muslim. So why I want to waste my time go from zero when I have a proof from your book saying because it's more objective. It's more objective. If no, you go no, 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 no. You know, for a Muslim. Do, do you do you Muslim accept what the atheists believe? No, okay, so if, if if I show you the proof which is for the atheist, my friend, zero. if I speak about a, 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 a logic of an atheist, then you will say I don't accept what the atheists he accept anyway, and you just said to me that you know, so I'm wasting my time. But I have in front of you, I have in front of you a verse from the Quran, chapter two, verse number eighty nine says, confirming what is with them. So your book confirm what is with us. What we will do now? That's two different things. So what? What do because, you mean? Because again, if if I was a Muslim and I asked you this, you would stop not saying go. if you I was not. not. You are you are a Muslim. So if this is not the case. So now the the Bible is confirming your book. Do you have anything yeah, against your book? My, can can you just try to understand my point? For I second? understand your point, but there's no point What's in your point, point because first you are not an atheist. Okay, let us do this. I want you to say, I, be, I don't believe in Muhammad, Allah is a fraud, Muhammad is a fraud, and I will answer you as an atheist. Go ahead. What? Okay, I said, why look, you would start going, so, so why are you are wasting my time, my friend, my friend? What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? What's your name, my friend? What's your name? What's your name? What I will call you? What's the ayah? What I will call you? Chapter 2, verse number 89.
I'm showing it to you on the screen. You can read it on screen. I don't have my thing open like that. Okay. My, my YouTube. One second. Well, you better open uh, your YouTube. You can mute it so you can you can read in the same time, both of us. So, uh, please read the ayah. Okay. And you, you can read it, you know, if you want to read in Arabic, you can read Arabic. If you want to read in English, it says, وَلَمَّا جَاءَهُمْ كِتَابٌ مِنْ عِنْدِ اللَّهِ مُصَدِّقًا لِمَا مَعَهُمْ Does it say مُصَدِّقٌ لِمَا مَعَهُمْ? Yeah. Okay. Believing, is, believing in it, in what is with them. What was, what's مُصَدِّق? Mean believing. مُصَدِّق mean believing. Believe, يعني ولا confirming. Believing mean believing. It's more than confirming because confirm is just agreeing. Here it's مُصَدِّق. That's mean I believe in it. واحد إذا صدق حاجة صدق mm. حاجة is to give huh? صدق صدق when you say the word صدق صدق coming from the word صدق which means he said the truth so مصدقا لما معه mean he agreeing and believing in what so, is with them Abu Bakr al Sadiq is called Abu Bakr al Sadiq because he believed in what Muhammad he brought to him correct Okay. So okay. He, so Musaddiq, so Musaddiq is, is the one is the one who believe. Musaddiq is the one who believe in what is with them. So now, the, even the Muslim the, translation, the, my friend, my friend, don't waste my time. First of all, your Arabic is not good. Secondly, it says here, even your translation says, confirming what is with them. Do you have a problem with that? And now uh, let me explain the confirming. The confirming oh. is uh, it confirms the hajat al. The truthful part in their books. Uh, first yeah. of all, you are adding things. Does it say? Does it say in the verse confirming only the truth? Some of the truth, some of it. It says confirming what is with them. Are you saying to me that somebody took the verse, play with it, no, and he took those words off? To, first of all, first of all, we need to read the ayahs in context. Read the ayah, no problem. Go read. Who's who? Read the ayahs. When you read the ayahs in context, you start. Part read the, the ayah in contact. No problem. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, you start you when you start from eighty-seven. Read and from any you can read it from verse number one. I don't care. No, I'll start from <laughs> eighty-seven. It says, "We gave Moses the scripture, mm. and we sent messengers after him in succession. We gave Jesus, son of Mary, clear mm. signs and strengthened him with the Holy Spirit." Mm. So how is that? Whenever a messenger brings you something you do not like, you become arrogant, calling some imposters and killing others. Mm. They say. Our hearts are um, uh, impenetrably wrapped, but mm. God has rejected them for their disbelief. Mm. They have little faith. When a scripture came to them from God, confirming what they already had in Nazam, what they already had is what? The belief in one God to follow the prophet. Well, that's, that's, that's your fabrication, my friend. You are adding things. It's, it's, not, no in it's no not, not in the Quran. It's not in the Quran. It's not in the Quran. It's not in the Quran. It says confirming in what is with them. There's no addition. Say, yeah, yeah. Say it. It doesn't have to say it here. We look at Quran. We look at the Okay. So you message. are saying that the verse in the Quran is not clear. We have to add words to fix it. So the Arabic of Allah is that's not good. Not, that, that's not what I said. Well, the, said, so so why you are adding ayah. words? Why you are adding words to the Quran if the Quran doesn't say that? If the Quran is clear, is the Quran a clear book? I'm not. I'm elaborating for you. No, I'm asking you. Is the Quran? Is the Quran by itself is enough for anyone to understand? With the Arabic language, yeah, it should be good. Okay, the Arabic language. Short enough for me. I speak Arabic better than you. Obviously, you don't speak good Arabic. It says here, Musaddiq, Musaddiqun lima ma'hum. Believing in what is with them, not some of them. Allah can add the word some. He can say, uh, little of what he have. He did not say that. He says, believe in what they have. Let us go to different ver different verse. Here we go. You see this one. This one is not going to be just to show you. But now, as long as you claim you speak Arabic, you know you cannot you cannot turn away from it. Chapter two, verse number ninety one. What we will do with this one? Verse number ninety-one. Mm. Same thing. 
No, it's adding. Here it's even. It's even adding the word truth. Even if it be the truth, even it be the truth, confirming, confirming what is with them, confirming what is with them, not some of what is with them. So the truth is what is with them. Let us go to the different verse. We will keep jumping. No, no problem. Chapter two. Exactly. Chapter two. Chapter two. Verse number one o one. Read carefully read again. You just said confirm. Yes, confirm. Yes, confirm. Actually, confirm, confirm is not a good translation. So we, more than confirm, believing, believing. Continue. Here it says, and when they come to them, a messenger from Allah confirming what is with them, not what was. Here translation is false. I'm going to send you a link on our message. Uh, I don't open links, my friend. You can read. You can read for me. You can tell me what you want. Oh, okay. Go to, go to a website called corpus.quran. Uh, give me the answer. Give me the answer. Give me the answer. Give me the answer. La, you can see that musaddaq is is coming from confirming. It's confirmation. No problem. So how you can confirm something is not true? It confirms the truthful parts, of course. Okay, okay hold on. So guys, that does the okay, does the verse does the verse say is confirming the truthful part only? Who will help? Who will help? Musaddaq lima ma'hum. It's the truth. Yes, musaddaq lima ma'hum. Okay. Okay. Now, so now it's confirming what is with them. I'll does it say? I'll I'll does it say time. in the verse, my friend? Does it say in the verse? Any of those verses I gave you, confirming some of what they have with them, or it says confirming yeah. what is with them. Yeah, I'll tell you an example. Alhain hmm. today, and then they say, and no, Ibrahim doesn't exist. Kamathal. Hmm. Right. You speak in English. Speak in English. Say, speak in English. You have some people that say that Abraham does not exist. Okay. So, okay. Right. Now, the fact that Muhammad وسلم, says this and we believe him, hmm. any Muslim that ends up believing him, by default, we believe anything that came before that he speaks about. Therefore, Abraham is real, despite there not being any historical evidence for him hmm. makes sense okay. so now when it comes to when it comes to the bible the actual bible or the old testament new testament hmm. has a, a truth that it talks about the truthful parts that مثلا, the bible that we as muslims cannot agree to okay because i want to I I ask you i want to make something simple for you sure. is do muhammad have the bible in his time or he don't do, like do he have the old testament in his time the Old Testament. Yeah. So Old Testament, not New Testament. The Old Testament. I'm talking about the Old Testament. Let us go one by one. Do Muhammad Do Muhammad have the Old Testament, the correct one, in his time? I don't know if it's an. Exactly what do you even know? You just said to me about Abraham. So how he's confirmed some of it? If you do not know anything about it, do Muhammad know anything about the Torah? Yeah, he does. Okay, how he knows? We believe he got information from Allah. Okay, uh, if he got the information from Allah, then he got the Torah. What do you, do you your prophet knows how to read, Arabic or no. Hebrew? No. If he I did. give you now, the, if I give you now the Torah and I say I want you to swear on the book of the Torah, are you going to, willing to swear or you swear in the Quran only? Are you talking about the situation where those Jews came to him? And I'm not asking him. about situation. I'm asking you if I give you the Torah and are the Quran. You? Which one you are going to swear on, the Torah or the Quran or both? No, I swear on the Quran, of course. Because why? Muslim. Why you don't swear in the Torah? Because I don't. Because I, I I follow the Quran. I don't follow the Torah. But isn't it isn't it isn't it supposedly uh, Musa is a Muslim prophet? What does Muslim mean? This is another question now. So you see, you Muslims, you play games. So is is the Torah is the book of Allah too, or the book of uh, Shish Kebab? No, we believe it's a divine. Okay, so I'm asking you, why you don't want to why you don't want to swear in the Torah if the Torah is the book of Allah? If there was absolutely no Quran around, no nothing, and there was only the Torah, and I had the New Testament and the Old Testament, I would swear on the Old Testament over the New Testament. Okay, why you want to swear in the Old Testament if you do not know even how to read the Old Testament? No, there's translations; they do just fine. And then I let can us say you exist in the time of Muhammad. You don't have translation. How you can swear in a book you never read? Excuse me, say that again. How you say it, you will swear there's a translation, that's why you will swear. So now I'm asking you, 
in the time of Muhammad, there was no translation for the Torah. Should you trans swear in the Hebrew Torah? No. Why? Well, at the time of Muhammad, I wouldn't probably be a Jew either. I would probably be a Muslim. This is another question. This is another Arab. question. You said you are willing to pray. There is no Quran. So, in the time of Muhammad, are you willing to swear in the Torah, in the Hebrew? Why would I swear on the Hebrew? Why not? I don't understand. This is the only understand. book. This is the, the only book. The book Allah, he sent to them in Hebrew. Allah did not send in English. Allah did not send in Arabic. He sent in Hebrew. So if you are saying, are saying that, before, if you are, are saying, saying the Torah Islam? is the book of Allah, why you don't want to swear in the book which Allah gave them, which is in Hebrew? I'm trying, I'm trying to understand your question. Is it before Islam? Doesn't matter. Islam? Doesn't matter. Let us say, let us say, say after matter. Islam. Let us say after Islam. Muhammad is there, and they give you the Torah, and they say to you, swear in the Torah. Are you willing to swear in the Torah in Hebrew? The Prophet told me to do it. I'll do it. This is not a question. The Prophet told me to do it. I'll do it. If he said, are, let, do us it say, do it. let us say you were there after 10 years of Muhammad died. Are you going to do it or not? No. Why not? Because by then the Quran has been compiled. I would have, I swear on the Quran. So you are saying to me, Muhammad, before he have the Quran complete, he have to believe in the Torah. No. So you just said that to me, you said to me, because by then the Quran was going, and now let us, let us, you see, okay, so if the Quran is not compiled together, you will swear in the Torah. That's mean the Torah is a correct book. If the prophet tells me to do it, I'll do it. If it's not a question, not it, it's not a question. You see, you are escaping the, you know, trying to skip. I, I'm do you swear by the Torah? Is the Torah, is the Torah, is the Torah, is the Torah, and a, a good book for you to swear in, yes or no? Over the New Testament, yes. This is another question. Quran, I don't talk about over, over the New Quran. Testament. I'm asking about the Torah. Is the Torah a good book for you to swear on? Yeah, probably. Probably. If I had to choose, if I had to choose life or death, yes, I'd swear on it. Okay. Because well, the Old Testament, the, the book of Moses says that God has a spirit, and God, he came to Abraham as a man. What do you would do with that? Do you accept? It's not, it doesn't actually mean a man, man. Even no, it came to him rabbi, as, they came to him as a man. Rabbi, no, he came, he came to him, he came to him. It's not up to you. He came to him as a man. It's what, not up to are you either. going? It's up to Jewish rabbis. Jewish exactly, rabbis, exactly. Won't it's up to the, okay, no problem. Accord, no, it's, it's not, man. first of all, my friend, listen, it's not up to the Jewish rabbi. It's not about, up to the Christian priest. It's up to the book, what it says. Do I agree? Okay. Okay. The book says the book says as a man, but it's an angel, and it's a form and it's a message that he came as a revelation. That's the only. That's how it came. That's how it means. What, Jacob, what, what, Jacob what do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? God. What? What? Do you, hold on. Hold on, my friend. Hold on. What? 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 So you are saying to me, God, he came as an angel now? No. Okay. Because so he let says, me repeat the question again. Did God came to Abraham as a man? And actually, all the one who came to him, they came as men. If you go to Genesis chapter 18, verse number 2, and verse number 1, you can read, it says, And Abraham looked down, he saw three men standing nearby. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. okay. One of them is God. Is that correct? One of them was the angel. They're angels. No, one of oh. them is God. If you go to verse number 10, it says, Then the Lord said, The Lord, the Lord is speaking there, the Lord. Again, since you and I haven't, I didn't open the verse. I can open the verse. I don't care. So, according to the Jews and according to the Christian and according to everybody, God, He came to Abraham as a man. It's not up to you. So now I'm asking you: Do you accept that God came as a man, as what the Bible says in the Old Testament? You say to me, you are willing to swear on the Torah, and this is what the Torah says. What you would do? For starters. For huh? starters. What I said for. For starters, what starters are we? Are we? Are we buying a bicycle? We are talking about God. What starters? I said, to begin with, in my response. What begin with? And this is another question. Are you going to yeah, accept? Are you accept? Are you accepting a book says that God came as a man? 
Jews don't believe that it was. No, God. Jews, they believe that. And I'm, I'm, I'm no, willing to don't. show you. I'll show you. I'm I'll willing to show you. I'm willing to show you. No, no, it's not, up to, it's not up to you. 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 Secondly, and it's not up to you. No, either, here we go. I will, I will open the Jewish Orthodox Bible. Do you accept that? Yeah. Huh? What's the verse you're talking about again? Give I'm talking about Genesis chapter 18. Read it from the beginning. So I can open for you the Jewish Bible, the Jewish, not the Christian book, not the, the you know, the translation, the, the Jewish books. What you would do then? You would say, I don't accept. Here we go. This is the Jewish, this is the Hebrew Orthodox Jewish Bible. Orthodox Jewish Bible. And Hashem appeared unto him. Do you see the word Hashem? I can't open the page. Can I don't care. The, you see, you are, playing, your, you are playing games. I your... You are playing games. So now I'm asking you. It's confirmed that the Jews, they believe that Hashem, like, like a God, he came to Abraham as a man. So now I'm asking you. If a man, he swear in a book, it says God came as a man. Do you accept him to be a good man or he is a stupid man? No, I actually don't. I don't believe that he's, uh, what's it called? It's not up to you, the book in the front of your eyes, my friend. What's wrong with you? He said Hashem. And Hashem, Hashem is, a, is a, a one of the titles they use for God or names. So Hashem appeared into Abraham as a three person, three men. It's in front of you. This is the Jewish language. And this is the Orthodox Jewish book. Where is the source? Can you share the source in the chat? It's in the front of you. The Orthodox Jewish Bible. I'm showing the screen. <laughs> Orthodox. Orthodox. So until you find the source, I'm asking you, do you accept to take an oath in a book that says God came as a man? Yes or no? No, I would not. So but why you so why you so why again, your prophet then again, why so I why your prophet then that. you see you got your prophet busted so why no. your prophet then accept to swear in the Torah the book which says that God came as a man first of all he's when he swore I, and I knew it that's and I asked you this question and you well, I, I know it and I know you, you know it. it and I know I you know it you and I got you busted still so now I'm asking you you just said I don't accept to swear in a book that says God came as a man so how your prophet did that. How did the how did the hadith go when he said it? He says, "Amen, fiq, or amen, bil that revealed you, right?" That okay, so I believe in thee and the one who sent thee. Okay, exactly. So what's the problem? The problem is it's believed that God came as a man. <laughs> That's not how they actually see it, though. Today, if you what do you mean how they see it today? What do you mean that they see it? This is the Torah. This is the same Torah. What's the link for your website that you're looking at? I'm using sunnah.com. Not your, oh, not that one. Sunnah.com. Oh, it's in the front of your the, eyes. I was talking about the orth orthodox one. Yeah, well, you can, you can just type Orthodox Jewish Bible, Genesis 18, and you will see it. And you go, let me post it in the chat. I told you, open YouTube so you can see with me. Just to mute YouTube so you can see the same thing I'm showing the screen. So now. Yeah. God, he came to Abraham as a man. You're a prophet, he swear in the Torah, which says that God is a man, or he came as a man. How your prophet, he took an oath in a book like that. What you just, what, by, sorry, what you just showed me, what you just showed me was just a just different translation of that verse. You didn't My friend, show me I showed Jewish, you the Jewish. You show I showed you. I showed you the Jewish. The, the, that's. I showed you the Jewish. Listen, so listen. Not, don't waste my time. Don't waste my time. You know. I'm yeah, not yeah, 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 okay. Not a single Jew will not accept because it, uh, you see, the Jews have to go by what the book is saying. Literally, they cannot make their own. It says Hashem. Hashem, he came. He came as what? As a three men. I, I listen, can, can I can I send you some things by then? Don't send me things, my friend. Uh, wasting my time. So now you're a prophet. Do your prophet know Hebrew? No. So how he swear in a book? He do not know how it is it is, is inside it. 
because he believes in the one that revealed it, اللي هو ربنا. Okay, guys, he believed, but maybe they gave him yellow pages book. How he knew that this is the Torah? That they handed to him. Yeah. They, this it was a serious matter. Something was going on. What serious so matter? The guy he do not know Hebrew. He do not know what he's reading. He cannot read no. even a word. So they if I if I, I if I give a if I give a book to your prophet about Mickey Mouse and I say to him this is the Torah, how he will know that this is not the Torah? If the in then that's your call. But these men didn't want that. They came to him for a ruling. They, they were sincere and they came to him for a ruling. My friend, for book, this is this is false. First of all, he Why is in their house. He is in their house. You know. He is in his house. He's not. They are not coming to him. He is yeah, in their they house. Invited him. They invited him. Exactly. So now I'm asking you. They gave him a book, and then he took the book. He put it in the top of the cushion, and he swore by it, saying, "I believe in thee and the one who sent thee." How he knew okay. what is in thee, and how he knew that this is the book is sent by thee. So when we say that Allah sent the Torah and the Injil. We believe that we believe in their original. This is not the question. They gave him a physical book. They gave him a. They gave him a physical book, my friend. We are not talking about the word Torah now. We are not talking about the word Torah. We are talking about a book have pages made of papers or leather, and they gave it to him, put it in front of him, and he put it, he took it physically. He didn't say I believe in the Torah. He's saying about what is in the front of him. He took it, right, he put right. it in the question, showing a lot of respect. And then he said, I believe in thee and the one who sent thee. My question to you, Muhammad do not know Arabic. Muhammad do not know Hebrew. So he cannot even read his name. How he can confirm that this is the book of God and how he swear by a book he cannot read. He cannot see what it contained. He cannot see in anything about it. Maybe it's not even a Torah. Maybe it's a shaitanic book. Maybe it's a book about magic. How he can confirm that this is the book of God? How he swear by that? Hey, that's a very big possibility. There's a big possibility that these people came and tricked him and they gave him a completely different book that has said nothing in it. And he said, hey, I believe in thee and believe in the one that sent thee with the full intention that this was the Torah. Okay, so you're a prophet is not inspired by God then because he is swearing by a book without knowing no, is, what is inside is the book. Premise. This is your premise, by the way. This is not the premise. No, the premise no, listen, is, listen, 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 listen. I will not, I will not, I am not a fool to swear by a book. Maybe this book is written against my Messiah. Why I want to swear by it? A prophet of God, he have to be careful. He have to swear in a book. He knew what it says. He should know very well what it says word by word. Otherwise, taking a book saying, I believe in thee and the one who sent thee is a hypocrisy. Is it the Quran says that the Jews, they believe that Allah have a son, his name is Uzair? In the Torah, it doesn't say that. And it doesn't say in the Quran that they that it does say that. It says it's that the Jews, that. the Jews, they say, Rabbi. listen, listen, listen. The Jews, they say, Uzair is the son of Allah. How Muhammad in you that in the book they gave him, it doesn't say that Uzair is the son of Allah. Wahi. Huh? said wahi what wahi i said revelation he probably knows from allah told him allah told him allah told him that uzair is a son of allah but there is not a single jew believe in uzair there's nobody's name is uzair who's uzair ezra ezra is not uzair and there's and there's no jews believe in the guy his name is ezra and he's god there might have been some factions once upon a time. We don't well, know that. If this is the case, if this is the case, that's mean the Quran is a false because the Quran says the Jews, which means all the Jews, not some, maybe. Where is this ayah again? Chapter 9, verse number 30. Okay. 